Behavioral pure tone audiometry is the standard for hearing evaluations. Different techniques are used depending on the age of the child and their ability to follow directions or cooperate with the examination. In order to conduct a hearing screening, you need a quiet room or sound-treated booth, an audiometer, and a simplified audiogram and writing instrument. Your simplified audiogram should look something like this. You will screen each year at 500, 1000, 2000, and 4000 Hz at 20 or 25 decibels, depending on ambient noise levels. A perfect screening will go in this order. Testing in this order is most efficient as it reduces the number of adjustments you have to make to the audiometer during the screening, saving time and reducing margin for error. The first step is conditioning the patient. Place the headphones on the table, set the audiometer to the right ear at 90 decibels and 4000 Hz. Tell the patient to indicate when they hear that tone. They can do this by raising their hand, nodding, or saying yes. Present the tone. Turn the volume down to 50 decibels and place the headphones on the patient. The red headphone goes on the right ear. Present the tone. Once the patient understands the process, you can begin the screening. Turn the volume down to testing volume at 20 or 25 decibels and present the tone. If the patient indicates that they can hear the tone, place a check mark on the audiogram for the right ear, 4000 Hz, and continue with the screening in normal testing order. If the patient does not respond at 4000 Hz and the right ear, switch to the left ear. If the patient responds, continue screening in the left ear at the other three frequencies. If the patient is not responding at 4000 Hz in either ear, the patient may not understand the instructions or they may have hearing loss. Repeat conditioning with headphones off at 90 decibels or headphones on at 50 decibels and then begin the screening again. If there is still no response, reschedule or refer the patient. If the patient responds, continue screening the right ear, then left as normal. If at any other time during the screening you do not get a response, first change the frequency to 50 decibels and present the tone. If you still get no response, change to the frequency the patient last responded to and present the tone. You should get a response. Switch back to the missed frequency and intensity at 20 or 25 decibels and present the tone. Mark either an X if they did not respond, or a check if they did for that frequency and ear, then continue screening at the next frequency. Continue with this procedure until you have either an X or a check for each frequency in each ear on the audiogram. If there are any Xs, schedule a follow-up screening or refer this patient. Here are some things to keep in mind during your testing. Make sure that the patient cannot see or guess when you are pushing the button. Their response should only be to the sound they hear from the audiometer. You can take steps to minimize this common mistake by covering the button with your spare hand or turning the audiometer away from the patient. You may even wish to have a shade or similar object blocking the patient's view of the audiometer. Additionally, be aware of visual, auditory, or patterning clues. A visual cue could be looking at the patient expectantly after you've pushed the button. An auditory cue could be asking the patient, did you hear that? A patterning cue could be asking, ready? Before presenting each tone. Don't present the tone too short, like this, or too long, like this. Either one of these can result in a false outcome. Present the tone for a medium amount of time, like this.